Hey guys, this is Zepster, and today I'm going to be finally reviewing uh, ProSoft Engineering's Data Rescue 3. Um, now this software is, as it says, data rescue software. Um, so you can use it to recover files that you have deleted or even formatted over. Um, so what I'm going to do really quick is do a brief overview of this product. Um, and then I'll give a really quick example. I'm going to take some pictures with my camera format, delete the uh, pictures off the memory card through the camera and then format it through the camera and then I will load the SD card into this computer and then I will uh, surprise you guys on what it gets. Alright guys, so uh, first off, like I said, I'm going to start off with a brief overview of this product and really quick, let's go over some of the uh, quick uh, and cool features that this, um, this software offers. And I said, oh, I'm like five times already. Um, there we go one more time. <coughs> Alright, so with this software, uh, you can recover files, as I said previously, that you've deleted or formatted over. Um, this recovers tons and tons of different file types, so it's not just like .docs or .movs or just pictures or just um, just movies or whatever. It'll recover all of them, uh, as you'll see uh, in the upcoming part where I delete my pictures. Uh, with this, you can also create a bootable emergency DVD uh, that you can boot off of and recover your files if needed. Um, so that way if you delete something off your hard drive, you can scan your hard drive by creating the bootable CD or uh, mounting the DVD that you install it from and then you can boot off that drive and it will allow you to scan your internal hard drive and then recover files off that if you've deleted them or emptied the trash and then realize like, oh shit, my tax documents were in there, um, my pictures were in there, stuff like that. Um, you get free technical support uh, via phone and email, that's pretty cool because that way if you're ever confused or uh, whatever it may be, um, they have really great support. Um, I got the software a while ago and I like to use the products uh, for a while before I actually review them and I did encounter one or two errors, nothing major, um, and I did send them an email and within 24 hours they got back to me and said, uh, you know, try this fix, blah, blah, blah and it worked. Uh, so their customer support is really good. Um, with this, obviously, because it is just a DVD that you mount and software that you, um, or a DVD that you can boot off of or just software you load, uh, like I have here, you don't have to take apart your, apart your computer to extract the hard drive and then put it in another machine and then run forensic, forensic analysis, stuff like that. So it's really simple. It's just an application or a bootable DVD. It's so basic. You can, you can do a ton of stuff with this software. Um, <coughs> And also, as you can see right here, it guides you right through it. So right here, it's a start new scan, a browse completed scan. I tried to record this seven times before and it didn't work. Eighth time's a charm, I guess, I don't know. Um, so <laughs> this, this software is so easy to use, but also, as you can see here, uh, it does have expert features um, that you can enable or dis uh, disable. Um, it also does have a really nice uh, animated user interface uh, that shows like a little disk spinning. Uh, because this computer is a MacBook Air and it doesn't have the best graphics in the world, I'm going to disable that. Um, but it does look pretty cool when it is enabled. Um, so maybe I'll upload a video of that, how it looks or something, but maybe not. I don't know. It looks really cool though. Um, so there's that. Uh, you can preview the files before you even like recover them so you don't have to so you can make sure you recover the same one or the right file. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. Uh, so basically, why would you need this software? Well, I'm pretty sure every single person that's watching this uh, this DVD, or even every single person that's excuse me that's used a computer, has probably at least one time wishing was wishing or has wished that Apple Z or Command Z, Mac or Windows, whatever wishes that you could like you know undo like something like oops I totally deleted that file and I totally needed that because it was important uh, so if you've done that just just pick this software up it's it's definitely worth it uh, there will be a link to the uh, to their website in the description below or you can find it in the Mac App Store too um, so pretty much uh, photographers uh, I'm a hobby hobby photographer um, I definitely love this software because, as you're going to see here, you can recover 
uh, pictures off your camera so easily, even if you formatted the card, even if you deleted them uh, through the camera, your computer, even if you format it through your computer, you can get the files. It's awesome. <coughs> it even says right here on the box, recovers digital pictures from your camera media even after it's been erased or reformatted. So really quick, basically what I'm going to do is walk you through this by uh, actually taking some pictures and then deleting them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is pick up my camera, shoot some pictures, and so you know I'm not bullshitting this. Um, here we go. I'm going to take some pictures of the clock on the camera right now. All right, I'm going to wait for those to save to the camera, and then I will uh, mount the SD card on the computer. Almost done here. Uh, come on. There we go. All right, turn the camera off. Eject the disk. Put it in the computer. Wait for it to mount. It is mounted, and you saw uh, Drive Genius or Data Rescue 3 um, <coughs> pick up on that. And now, as you can see, let's preview these. I took some pictures, they're really overexposed uh, of the clock right up here. Right there, you can see. I'm not going to preview all these because these are pretty big. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eject this card, put it back into the camera, reformat it, and then I will put it back in the computer, and then you will see that there is no pictures on this SD card. Alright, so here's where I went before, and there was pictures. Actually, there's a date and then pictures, or a file name and then pictures. Uh, and now there is, there's nothing. Zero kilobytes, I'm not hiding anything. Let's even click on this, Apple I. All right, capacity, 4.02 gigabytes. Available, 4.02 gigabytes. Um, let's go ahead and close that window and then start new scan because I needed those pictures of the clock. I definitely needed those. And then right here, this is so basic. You can either select your internal boot drive uh, either one because I have boot camp because I run Windows 7 Professional on here and then I have my SD card right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Nikon D7000 SD card <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and do a deep scan because I did reformat and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start I'm gonna choose my temporary workspace which is where it'll save those files temporarily until I uh, choose to recover them <coughs> and as you can see right down here, it is uh, scanning the drive. And as you can see right now, it's already found uh, MP3s, TIFFs, and while that's running, I am going to go ahead and actually show you ProSoft Engineering's website. It is ProSoftENG.com. <coughs> And let's open up Buy Now in another tab, because I'm going to show you how much this amazing software costs when I'm done. So as you can see right here, as I said, uh, you can create the, the emergency bootable DVD or bootable emergency DVD. Uh, as I said, you don't need to take apart your computer to extract your hard drive. And as I said, they have free technical uh, support via phone or email. Uh, right here it says uh, Data Rescue 3 has an extensive list of hundreds of of file types it can recover listed here. I'm not going to click there because I don't want to read hundreds of file types. Um, if your file type is not listed here, there is their new powerful tool called File IQ that will enable Drive uh, Data Rescue 3 to learn about new file types from user supplied samples. So basically, what it does is uh, if your file type isn't known, say it's some proprietary format uh, from enterprise software. Uh, or some other custom software, maybe you built it yourself, I don't know, maybe you're a programmer and uh, you deleted one of your files and you're like, oh crap, I need that back. Uh, d uh, Data Rescue 3 can actually learn um, how to uh, recover your file. 
Um, all right, guys. So what I'm going to do is close this, minimize that, and then uh, fast forward through this part right here where it's scanning. I will be right back. All right, guys. I am back, and it is done. And hopefully, I don't cough anymore. <clears throat> all right. So let's see what it found. Uh, and as you can see, there is still nothing in the uh, 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 SD cards folder where my pictures would be saved. <coughs> Alright, so found files. There's nothing. Because it didn't find any files. However, it did reconstruct files because they were formatted over. So let's go over here to Images. Uh, TIFF, because I shoot raw. Thank you, Jared Pollen. That's a shout out. And let's click on this one to recover it. And it opens up in preview. And look at that. That's the picture that I showed you before of me taking a picture of the clock. And as you can see, that was about 15 minutes ago. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, preview this one. Alright, so once again, that is the image that I showed you before. <clears throat> Alright, so that is how to use and um, a brief walkthrough and information about, it's probably not so brief anymore though, um, about uh, Data Rescue 3, I finally said the name right, uh, and that is how you can use it to... Um, recover the files that you've lost and as you can see it's uh, it works pretty well um, I would say uh, every now and then you do have a file that um, does get reassembled a little bit funky but that's gonna happen when you're trying to reassemble files after that they've been formatted over um, let's see if I can find one that was a picture I took a long ass time ago um, let's try this one See what this one looks like. Once again, turns out pretty good. And these are the original files. These are not shrunk down or anything. These are the original files. As you can see here, these are 18 megabyte files, uh, 21 megabyte files, and those are straight out of my camera. They, uh, this application 100% recovers your files. It doesn't. Um, shrink them down or anything at uh, they're 100% the original files that you um, accidentally deleted or formatted over um, so there you go um, in my opinion this software I'll show you the price right now um, here we go a personal use license is 99 bucks professional use license is 249 and you can also upgrade it at a discounted price or you can also buy it in the App Store. App Store, there we go. I'll show you the price in the App Store because it is a different version. So I'm going to type in right here, Data Rescue. Come on. No, no, no. Data Rescue 3. There we go. All right, Data Rescue 3 External Drive Recovery. Or uh, data three, data rescue three EDR. Uh, that is sixty bucks, and this will scan your external drives. Uh, so basically, anything besides your internal hard drive. Uh, it's pretty cool, and it is only uh, fifty nine ninety nine instead of uh, this one, which is ninety nine dollars. So uh, if you have a RAID system or something that you you don't want to buy the full version because you don't think you're going to have to recover from your internal hard drive anytime soon. I would definitely recommend this one. It's only 60 bucks, and if you're a professional photographer, professional videographer, um, the clip you recover or the picture you recover <coughs> could be well worth more than $60 to you. Um, if it's that key shot from uh, the concert you shot or the, the movie you shot or the 
YouTube video you shot, whatever it is, uh, it could be worth more than 60 bucks. Um, so I would definitely recommend this, especially considering that professional actual drive recovery or data rescue uh, or data recovery services where you send your hard drive in can run you into the hundreds or thousands of dollars. I definitely give this product a major thumbs up. Um, amazingly amazingly uh, efficient. Um, it's, it's really quick uh, to recover files. It doesn't take like overnight. Um, you still had to recover the uh, or scan the whole four gigabyte SD card within uh, within 15 minutes. So that was uh, pretty good. And that is an SD card too. So they write really slow and they read really slow compared to modern drives, I guess. Um, so I definitely recommend this product to, uh, you know, if you're, if, you, if you're in the business where you work with computers all the time and you're, you're a photographer, videographer, uh, sound engineer, um, a, a tax, it turns, it, it pretty much anything where if, if, if you store data on your computer that you need to have and it would be bad if you deleted it, I would definitely recommend this product to you. Um, it's only 100 bucks. It works excellent. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, let's see. Uh, let's hear your data loss story below. Um, what is the one thing that you accidentally deleted that one time and you were absolutely in need of it? Uh, let me hear your stories below. And also, uh, if you got it back, what program did you use? I want to hear. Um, all right, guys, take it easy.